fellow grade 9 again. Let's complete our curriculum, geometry curriculum. Uh, we start today lesson 2, unit 5, the relation between the inscribed and central angle. In the last lesson, we took the inscribed angle and the central angle. And we said that the central angle, it is the angle from its name. It is the angle in which its sides are from the center. This is called central angle. The vertex of the angle is the center of the circle. But the inscribed angle, it is the angle. Its vertex lies on the circle, any place on the circle. Okay? And the other two sides are two chords in the circle. But here the sides of the angle are the two radii of the circle. Okay? Two radii and the center makes central angle. Two chords and any point on the circle makes inscribed angle. Okay, so here uh, ACB is called inscribed angle, AMB is called central angle. The relation between the central angle and the inscribed angle that the measure of the inscribed angle equal half the measure of the central angle. Which central and which inscribed? Because maybe I have infinite number of inscribed angles and central angles, which are suspended by the same arc. Here measure a, a, a angle AMB. This is the arc which is suspended in it. And also the inscribed angle ACB inscribed by the same arc AB. So the measure of the inscribed angle is half the measure of the central angle suspended by the same arc. I have three cases. FM belongs to one of the two sides of the inscribed angle. As you see here, M to the center of the circle. It is belong to one of the sides. These are the sides of the inscribed angle. Okay, so maybe this inscribed angle equal half the central. Where is the central? This is inscribed, right? Its arc, the arc is AB. So I'm searching about the central angle with suspended by the same arc, which is AMB. So this is the central angle. Also, I have maybe M is the point which inside the central, the inscribed angle, M, and this is the inscribed angle, and M, it is inside it, inside it, okay? So also, measure of angle A, C, B, all, equal half A and B, because they are suspended by the same arc. This is the arc A, B, A and B is the central, A, C, B is the inscribed. Maybe M is a point outside the inscribed angle, as you see here with the inscribed, I'm searching about a point on the circle. This is the inscribed. So it's side AB, CB, and CA. So this is called inscribed angle. The central angle, this is the arc. The central, I'm going to the center. The center is M. So this inscribed angle also have the central angle because they are suspended by the same arc, although that the center is outside the inscribed angle. Okay? Okay. Let's study this circles. Of course, we will not do them all, but we will uh, do uh, maybe uh, three or four from them. Let's start by number one. As you see here, he want X. What is X? S is an inscribed angle. A, C, B is an inscribed angle. So I must look at the central angle. Where is the central angle? This is the arc. So the central angle is A and B. So the central angle 110. So the inscribed is half the central. So it will be 55 degrees. What about number two? As you see, it's, uh, it's, there is an arrow that A and B is Y plus 10. This is called, this is called what? Central angle. Okay, where the inscribed? The inscribed is A, C, B equal 40. What is the relation? The relation is the inscribed half the central. So the central equals what? As I have the inscribed angle. Excellent. The central equals 80. So he gives me the equation of the central angle y plus 10. And I got it 80 from the inscribed angle. So y will be 80 minus 10 equal 70 degree. So y here equals 70 degrees. Okay. What about number, for example, 5? Measure A, A, C, B, 45. This is inscribed. And where is the central angle? 
central angle A and B. So this angle equal what? Equal half the inscribed angle or double? Excellent, double because the inscribed half the central. Central double the inscribed. So angle M is 90. So this is 90 degree. What are MB and MA? They are radii in the circle. So this is an isosceles triangle. So the two base angles are equal. So angle X will be 180 minus the vertex angle, which is 90, divided by 2. So angle X will be 45. Okay, let's move, for example, number 9. I have here what? I have X plus 135. Which angle? And where the inscribed and where the central? Okay, if, the, if I looked at this inscribed angle, its central angle is where? Where is the arc? Here is the arc. Here is the arc of the inscribed angle, this one. So its central angle is this one. Right? Not this one. The central angle will be the angle which is suspended by the same arc. Okay? So this is the central and this is the inscribed. Okay, so the central angle equal what? The central, which is X plus 135, this is the central angle, equal what? Double the inscribed suspended by the same arc. Okay, so the inscribed is X. Double X is 2X. By an equation, take X to the other side. So 2X minus X equal X equal 135, and there is no other number. So X here equal 135. And here will be 135 plus 135, which is 270. Okay, let's move to another. Uh, there is here an example. A is a point outside the circle. Let's draw a circle first. Here it's not drawn. Here is a circle with center M. A is a point outside the circle. Okay, so if I draw A here, it's outside the circle. AB is a tangent to the circle. Tangent means it touch the circle from outside. For example, if I draw it like this. So this is point B. This is the point of tangency. AM, AM intersects the circle M at C and D. So I will draw AM. It intersects the circle at C and D. If measure angle A equals 40 degrees, find by proof measure of angle B, D, C. I want measure of angle B, D, C. I want this angle. Okay. What I will do first, what I, here, this is not inscribed angle, this is nothing, this is outside the circle. This is inscribed, so I need what? I need the central angle for this inscribed. This inscribed angle, the arc is BC. So I will join BC to get the central. So what I need is this angle. And if I got this one, it will be double this angle. How can I get this one? Okay, so suppose from the beginning, I will draw BM for myself. Why I will draw BM? Because we took before that the tangent with the line that comes from the center are perpendicular. So this is right angle. Okay? As AB is a tangent, BM is a radius, is a radius tangent and radius makes 90 degree. So this is right angle. And this angle is 40. So and in this triangle, so angle BMA will be 50 degree. The interior angles of the triangle equal 180. So Measure of angle B, D, C equal half B, M, A or B, M, C, which is equal 25 degrees. Okay? Okay, we have some corollaries here for this lesson. The measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of the suspended arc itself. Why? Because we know from the last lesson that the measure of the central angle equal the measure of the suspended arc. Measure of angle AB arc equal measure of angle AMB. So if this angle is, for example, 50, 
measure of arc AB will be also 50 and as we know the relation that the inscribed will be half of it so measure of angle C equal half measure of angle AMB which is the central angle okay and since AMB equal measure arc AB so measure C equal half measure of the arc what about corollary 2 the inscribed angle drawn in a semicircle this is semicircle because this is the diameter okay uh, yes the diameter ACB this is ACB this is the inscribed angle so the inscribed angle here will be right angle okay since measure of arc A B equal 180 because this is a semicircle so the this angle is also 180 so measure of angle C will be 90 degree these are some remarks the measure of the arc equals twice measure of the inscribed angle suspended by the same arc the inscribed angle this is the corollary which is right is drawn in a semicircle the inscribed angle which is suspended by an arc of measure less than the measure of the semicircle which is smaller than 180 is an acute angle and of course the inscribed angle which is suspended by an arc of measure greater than 180 is obtuse angle let's study these figures also I have many so I will do only this two okay I have here studied very well I have measure arc AC 92 measure of arc BC 110 and I have an inscribed angle C B A what I need here first X so I need what I need the inscribed angle itself so what it will be equal to as we looked here we said that in the corollary that the inscribed angle equal half the measure of the arc suspended arc it is equal half also this one because simply if you draw the central angle this central angle equal the same measure of this arc so the inscribed will be half 92 so x plus 1 what is half 92 half 92 is 46 okay so it x equal 45 so x here equals x plus 1 equal 46 so equal uh, um, x equal 45 okay he want measure of arc AB okay we know that the circle all the circle its measure equal 360 I have a part 92 another part 110 so the rest will be 360 minus the sum of 110 plus 92 it gives you 158 let's study the other figure the other figure says what here the other figure measure angle A he wants measure angle A let's study it first measure angle C 60 arc BC 140 mm, who can think with me measure arc BC it is this is suspended for the angle CAB so CAB is right angle CAB equal half the suspended the measure of the suspended arc so measure of angle A will be 70 excellent also if you cannot get it by this you can draw the central angle so the central angle will be equal the measure of the arc so 140 so the inscribed will be half it okay okay what did he want else he want measure arc AC mark AC what is arc AC arc AC it's suspended for the inscribed angle CBA okay it's easy to get CBA 180 minus 70 plus 60 this one will give you 50 we know that the inscribed have the measure of the suspended arc so the suspended arc will be double the inscribed angle so a measure AC arc equal 100 and uh, sorry 100 because this is 50 okay this is the last part of our lesson this I have two well known problems well known problems mean this is like a theory like uh, um, something you must know uh, but you uh, first you must know from where do I get this uh, like corollary like fact okay but I use it uh, many in the exercises the first well known problem says what 
if two chords intersect at a point inside a circle as you see here if two chords intersect at a point inside the circle they intersect at E then the measure of the included angle included mean the measure of one of these two included between the two chords equal what equal half the sum of the measure of the two opposite arcs what does this mean okay uh, for this one this means that measure of angle E LA, A, measure angle AEC will be equal half the sum of the measure of the two opposite arcs where are the opposite arcs for this angle opposite arcs are AC and BD so it is equal to half measure ang uh, measure arc AC plus measure of arc BD this is what's written but from where quickly I will explain from where do this I get this one or this rule okay first I will draw AD suppose that AD is not drawn I will draw it okay since AEC this angle with respect to the triangle AED this is exterior angle for this triangle so measure of angle AEC equal what equal the sum of the two non adjacent so it is equal to measure of angle D plus measure of angle A measure this one it is exterior angle equal this one plus this one okay till now it is clear right so measure of angle D if you see if I want to replace D and A measure of angle D look at this one this is inscribed angle right where the suspended arc the suspended arc is AC right so what is the relation between the inscribed and the suspended arc the inscribed equal half the suspended arc so if I remove D I will write half AC measure arc AC right if I removed A if where is A measure angle A this one so this is the inscribed angle where the suspended arc the suspended arc is BD so if I removed A I will write half measure of uh, arc BD when I take half as a common factor I will have measure sorry I forgot to write measure plus measure of arc BD this is what written here the measure of the included angle equal the sum of the measure of the two opposite arcs which is BD and AC and also if I want DEB it is the same it will be also the sum of AC half AC measure AC arc plus BD arc this is the first well-known problem another well-known problem here if the two chords here intersect but they are outside the circle I have here if two rays carrying two chords this is two chords okay carried by two rays outside then the measure of their intersecting angle their intersecting angle means the measure of E equals half the measure of the major arc suspended from it this is minor arc and this is the major arc so measure E equal the sum half the sum of AC arc and uh, uh, of the major arc suspended from it half of the measure of the minor arc in which both are included by the two sides of the angle so subtracted sorry not suspended here is subtracted so again then the measure of their intersecting angle equal half of the measure of the major arc subtracted from it half of the measure of the minor arc in which both of them included of the two sides so simply it is equal half measure AC minus the minor arc BD also quickly I explain from where if I draw CB also suppose it's not drawn suppose that it is only a circle and two, uh, two chords sorry two chords not a tangent two chords intersecting outside carried by two rays and you want the measure of this angle so I will draw CB as it is drawn here in our book I will draw CB okay I will draw CB 
angle ABC, A, B, C, this angle, it is exterior angle for what? It is exterior angle for triangle BEC. So angle ABC, exterior angle ABC, exterior angle for triangle what? For triangle CBE. Okay, so measure of angle ABC equals the sum of what? The sum of two done adjacent like the other one. So it is equal to measure of angle E plus measure of angle BCD or BCE. It is equal the sum of these two angles. Now, if I want to replace them, okay, before replacing, he won't measure angle E. So, if I get measure angle E here and take measure angle ABC, so measure of angle E, the one he needs, equal measure of angle B ABC minus measure of angle BCD. Okay, so measure of angle ABC, where is ABC? ABC. ABC is suspended, where is ABC? Okay, so it is equal half the suspended arc. So removing measure of angle ABC, so it will be half measure of arc AC. Minus, where is BCD? BCD, this angle, is suspended by the arc BD. So equal half measure arc BD. If I took half as common factor so it will be measure AC minus measure BD arc okay uh, this one uh, I will get this one this is a uh, uh, positive so it will get here by negative and here if you get it here by negative so I have to remove the negative that's why I'm this is an equation Okay, that's why I, I got ABC then minus BCD. Okay? Okay, and this is the other well-known problem. The last thing we will take today is to solve this example. Okay, let's see. Measure uh, now CB ray intersects ED ray at point A, A outside. BC intersects BE at X inside the circle. BCD equal 26. BCD 26. Measure A equal 40, and I want to get measure of A arc CE and measure of angle EXC. Okay, let's see. What is CE here? First, CE, this has an arc. Okay, this arc is suspended by this angle. So, this angle is far or suspended by this angle. So how I get this one? Okay, I couldn't. So first, I will think about what I will think about what I have studied in the well-known problems. I said in the well-known problems, if the two chords uh, meet by two rays outside A, so measure of angle A, suppose it will be equal what? It will be equal half measure arc CE minus measure arc BD minus uh, the major arc minus the minor one. Okay, okay. So I have A, but I didn't have measure angle CA because he needed it. So I have to get measure of arc BD. What is measure of arc BD equals to? If you, find, if you look at it well, you'll find it is, this is the inscribed angle. And I have this inscribed angle. So measure of arc BD will be equal twice measure of angle DCB. Because the inscribed have the measure of the arc. So measure of arc BD will be equal 2 times 26 so it will be equal 52 degrees okay so this is the first part that you got measure this arc so it is easy now you have measure of angle A and you have one of the two arcs you can get the other okay so measure of angle A equal half measure of angle half the arc a, A C E sorry minus measure of arc B D okay I have A equal 40 degree half I don't have measure C this is what I want minus I have got measure arc B D which is 52 
take the half to the other side so it will be 80 equals measure arc CE minus 52 so measure of arc CE will be equal 80 plus 52 so it will be equal 132 this is the first part what about the next one or the next part I got CE 132 I write here on the drawing I got this arc 132 okay and I got this arc 52 he want measure of angle E X C E X C this angle okay both chords let's see the well-known problem that was the first one this is two chords intersect at a point so we said that the measure of the measure of X or this angle equal half the sum of the two opposite arcs so measure X will be half measure arc CE plus measure arc BD and I have the measure of both of them so very easy to tell him that measure EXC equal half measure arc this is, was uh, EC plus measure of arc BD here equal half 135 132 sorry plus 52 so it is equal half time 184 so it will be equal 92 so this angle equal 192 so here this example has show you the two well-known problems first one and the second one okay the first one says if the two chords intersect in a point inside the circle then the measure of this included angle equal the half the sum of the two opposite arcs when you see a circle and two chords intersect so this angle equal half the sum of the two opposite arcs if you want this one so it is half this or measure of this arc plus measure of this arc the second well known problem says what if the two chords intersect outside in a point then the measure of this angle which is outside equal the measure of the major arc minus the half the measure of the minor arc minus the major minus the minor one okay okay of course i have a lot of exercises please try to go to handout six and solve the rest of the exercises thank you grade nine